All right, we're back for the second part of special segments. And these are going to be a little bit more complicated examples going up really to as complicated as you'll probably see. Um, and the last problem really isn't the level that will be on our state exam in Virginia, but you may see it just for fun or I can give you examples to do. They're fun. They're just a little bit harder. So the first thing I'm going to do in, all, in most of these is just go through and color the segments just so we can keep those all in line. It just helps me explain and hopefully gives you some strategies to use. Okay, so the first one, decide based on the last video, is this gonna be PP or is it gonna be out? Hopefully you said PP because this is inside. Okay. Oh, I'm just kidding. I do that. I mess up sometimes. It's outside. What am I thinking? All right. So we're going to use Al Al. For the orange piece, it's kind of obvious. The outside piece is nine. And the whole thing, remember, we add those together. Segment addition is nine plus X or X plus nine. That's the commutative property. The pink one, though, only gives us the inside and we need the outside. But if you look carefully and you actually read directions, you'll see they're telling us this whole thing from A to C is 36. So we have the whole. And enough information to figure out the outside. If the whole thing is 36 and this piece is 26, then the outside has to be 10. 10 plus 26 is 36. So outside times whole equals outside times whole. We're going to solve. So X equals 31, not 31 degrees, just 31 because we're looking for a segment length. Also, it says up here to find the value of X. And we did, so we're done. All right, this one is very similar. If MN is 50, find the value of X. So I want you to go ahead and decide what kind it is. So pause the video, decide what kind it is, check back. Okay, hopefully you got that right. And now what I'd like you to do is figure out the length of this piece, just this little segment right here that we're gonna need to use. So pause and come back and figure that out. All right, hopefully that you got this missing piece is six. All right, and pause the video and use the formula to solve for X. Hopefully you got the same answer as me, X equals 22. All right, so these are one step harder than what we've just done. Let's look at the next one. The next one is out. So we're gonna do OW equals OW. For the pink one, we have the outside, which is 28, times the whole thing, 78. Add them together, segment addition equal to the outside times the whole thing. So we multiply 28 times 70, simplify each side of the equal sign before we move on. And what's X times X? X squared. X plus X is 2X. 
You may remember from doing the Pythagorean theorem or something else that when you have a squared, you reverse it by doing the square root. The opposite of a square is a square root. So x is 46.7. And really, I should put squiggly equal signs because I approximated. All right. Let's keep going. All right. I would like you guys to do this one right here. I'd like you to pause the video and do it and then press play and watch as I do it and check your own answer. So pause. Ready? Pause. So hopefully you're just doing a rewatch right now to check your work. This is a spot people get hung up. Remember, we just combine like terms when we add. So we're doing, oops, that should be 12. So we're doing 10 plus 2 is 12, and the 5x is by itself still. Sometimes I'm ridiculous. Everybody makes mistakes. Apparently I make a lot this morning. All right, and I hope that you got three for your answer to that problem. This is more complicated than the ones we've just done, but you should have been ready at least to get it set up. After that, solving it is just algebra. And because I'm me, and also because I know how caught up people get in, um, in being, you know, this is about segment addition, or not segment addition, special segments. So we're only doing segment, special segment problems here. Then you see something like this and you get either confused or you don't want to change gears in your brain, but you need to be able to identify and differentiate between different kinds of problems. Okay. Now these, all these problems have been about segments, but look at these. Those are angles. Okay. So this 5x minus 37 goes with this angle. You may recognize that as an angle that's on the circle or also called an inscribed angle. And the formula we have for that is angle equals one half arc. And hopefully that came very quickly to your head. So if this is the angle, we need to find it at its um, arc. So if we look, we've done it with scissors a few times, I think. The arc is the part it cuts out. So the arc is right here. All right, and we don't have enough information yet to use this formula. So we're going to keep looking, and right here we see this angle we also have information about. And its arc is the same. So if the angles correspond or open to the same arc, they cut out the same arc, what do you think that means about the angles? They are congruent to each other. So we can set up to solve for x first. 5x minus 37 equals 3x plus 1. Those angles have to be equal, congruent, because they have the same arc. 